Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study linear equations and we are provided with a KCC question here which says uh, the diagram below shows a region R bounded by three lines L1, L2 and L3. Form the three inequalities that satisfy the given region R. Therefore, when we are taught to find the three inequalities, we find the linear equations for the lines. Then from the linear equations, we now determine the appropriate inequalities. Therefore, we can start with L1, whereby we first of all consider two fixed coordinates along line L1. So from L1, we can identify coordinates like a fixed coordinate like 1, 2 here. So a coordinate 1, 2. And another coordinate, another coordinate 2, 3. Coordinate 2, 3. So with these two coordinates, we can get gradient for line 1. We can call it M1, which will be change in Y, which is 3 minus 2 divided by change in x, 2 minus 1. This gives us 1 divided by 1, which is just 1. Therefore, the gradient is 1. With the gradient and one coordinate, for example, the first one, 1, 2, then we can express the equation for line L1. The gradient 1 is given by y minus 2, then divided by x minus 1. So when we cross multiply here, we shall have y minus 2 equals to x minus 1. And trying to rearrange this one, we remain with y equals to x plus 1 when we take 2 to the other side. So with the linear equation, we can consider a coordinate, for example, a coordinate 3, 3, which is in the required region, and we fix that coordinate in the equation so that we may know the inequality which will satisfy this line. So because coordinate 3, 3 is in the required side, then we can have 3 where we have y and 3 where we have x, such that instead of y we have 3, and instead of x we have 3 plus 1, such that we have 3 on this side and 4 on this side. So the relationship between 3 and 4 is that 3 is less than 4. Which means for this line, then it is line y is less than this other side. And now that it is a complete line, then we include this symbol such that it is less than or equal to since the line is complete. Therefore, the inequality will be y less than or equal to x plus 1. So that is the first inequality. The second inequality, L2. L2 is passing through point x equals to 4. x equals to 4. So the inequality will be, because the required side is the 1, whose values of x are less than 4, then it is x less than 4. Since the line is incomplete or dotted, then we use simply less than. The last line, L3, we can first of all get two coordinates along L3, and two coordinates can be picked as a 2, 2, coordinate 2, 2, and also coordinate 4, 1, coordinate 4, 1. <clears throat> so with these two coordinates, we can get gradient of that line, M3, which will be given by 1 minus 2, divided by 4 minus 2, and this will be negative 1 out of 2. So the gradient is negative half. So negative half equals to y minus 2 out of x minus 2. 
so that we may get first of all the equation. This gives us 2y minus 4 when we cross multiply equals to negative x plus 2. And when we rearrange this one, then we shall obtain 2y equals to negative x plus 6. So if this is the equation for L3, we can again consider a coordinate in the required side. We can still consider 3, 3 and substitute it where we have x and y respectively, such that 2 into 3 equals to negative 3 plus 6. This side, okay, you can operate without an equal sign. This side will have 6. This other side will have 3. The relationship between 6 and 3 is that 6 is greater than 3. And now that the line is complete, then we shall include this symbol to mean 2y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 6. So this is third inequality, the third inequality. Therefore, to solve the inequalities, we first of all get their linear equations, after which we pick a coordinate which is in the required side. We can use 3, 3 throughout, for example, in this case, such that when we substitute the coordinate of the common point, then we can know the relationship between the two sides of the inequalities. And after that, we'll be able to know the inequality symbol to apply in each line. So thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share the link.